Hey guys, today we meet Norman Reedus, get down on the floor with VR, groove to live performances, get soaking wet from the rain, and get a glimpse of the future. Is that what I think it is? Iron Throne from Game of Thrones, but made of guitars. Portable waterproof speakers. Are you more excited or fearful of an autonomous future? See how self-healing maps pave the road to a driverless future. Back to reality. What is that? Treasure truck? Amazon? There's a Google one. Google Assistant Playground is closed today. Come back and visit us tomorrow. It's too bad. A lot of the activities are outside, so it's closed for today. Usually I like to be a bit more strategic with which booth I go to. I have like a whole outline, like a route. In this case, we're just running for cover, for shelter. Can we go inside here? Oh, it's a private event. Ooh! There's nothing in this tent. It's just a registration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, we don't have any umbrella, so we just got a bag and using it as <laughs> Mommyo's idea. Can we please use that dryer? Yeah, right. Our shoe got one. Whoa, how many TV screens are here? They are so flexible that it looks like they're doing yoga. Familiar with Antelope Canyon? Here it is digitized. Hmm, off the record, usually I am not nerdy. We then walk through the tunnel of 5G. According to CNET, 5G networks could bring unlimited data to your phone in 2019. In ideal situations, 5G would be about 10 times faster than 4G. What they're doing is creating a crowdsourcing map. All the cars that are out there right now, they're driving on these roads and they're training. What they're going to do is they're sharing that information. It's going up to the cloud, aggregated, sent back down to cars. Because as your cars keep going, you're sharing the information with all the other cars. So you said this is the world's smallest VR glasses? Smallest. Yeah, you can look around, you can walk around. I'll show you, I'll show you. So you're going to put on this headset, and essentially you're going to try to find the carrot. The carrot? And it uses geolocation sensors on the phone. Hopefully I won't be blind in that way. Yeah. It could be low, it could be high. You got to look around. It's usually low, just so you know. I see a rabbit. Keep looking. You gotta find the carrot. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, get close. You gotta get real close to it. Okay. Real close. <laughs> It'll say you win if it's it. It's this one. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo. Nice work. High five. So everything feels fake right now. Yeah, I know. You were just in the real world now. Huh? <laughs> Look down on the ground. <laughs> Try not to grab a boob. Yeah, right. Okay, mommy always gonna try to find the carrot this time. Can I go you snowy? can walk around. Snowy. Snowy's our rabbit. <laughs> you gotta get real close to the carrot. The idea of VR and AR may not be new, but it takes time and patience to refine any tech. Up next, we try a horror hospital themed VR game where we sit in a wheelchair and boy oh boy does it rattle. <laughs> I know it's not real, but it's freaky as F. Mina, just close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes! <laughs> Whoa. 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 All right, so wait a second. I think I'm like 
slightly nauseous because I was hungry. <laughs> Done. Wow. That was intense. <laughs> I'm a little bit nauseous from doing the VR where I was like surfing, so let's give this a shot. Make sure it's nice and tight. Alright, and then you can put your wrist over. So I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, I feel it. Oh, I feel some. Ah, yeah. That's it. Oh, I don't feel it anymore. Oh no, 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 there it is again. And how long does it take for the nausea to go away? A few minutes. I guess it depends on how bad your nausea is. Yeah. So you said it goes up to level 10. Yeah. So right now it's level one. You're at level one, yeah. Let's do it go, up, up. go up to level three. Yeah. Woo! Do you want to go up to level three? You're on level two right now. Woo! Let's try level three. All right. There you go. <laughs> and then you can turn it down too if you want. It feels like something nibbling on my skin. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So you said that you like level 8. Yeah, I'm a fan of level 8. Level 8. Should we try what it feels like to go to level 8? If you really want to. If you okay. want to take the risk. Let, let's go to notches. Let's go up to level 5. Take it a little bit, one at a time. Okay, so this is level 4. Whoa. Okay, let's go to level five. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think it's okay, let's go to six. Okay. Yeah, it's, it feels really funny. I'm not gonna die, right? No. This. Okay. Nope. Okay, I think that's my max for now. <laughs> okay, do you want to turn it down? <laughs> yeah. I can understand why you like it. It makes you feel alive. <laughs> uh, when you first began using it, what were you? Oh, yeah. it's like four. Four, okay. Wow, it's like alcohol. You know, you get a t higher tolerance over time. Uh, my nausea is gone for sure. <laughs> that's good, that's what it's for, right? All right, that's right. Can you turn on? Yeah. Next up is the drone zone. Technology may change over time, but humans will always love a good massage. It normally only rains during the summertime. And how many homeless people live down there? A lot. Like hundreds? Probably more. Up we go, and then back down. We begin the day with talks. If you know your brand, you know what the most important thing in that box is. Millennials are the largest generation in U.S. history. Where we're at risk is where it becomes too easy of a catch-all. <laughs> we have no idea. <laughs> Tell them the whole story. They're going to find it out. They have all of these platforms that like to get the truth. Every day, like, there's multiple talks going on at the same time. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm getting major FOMO. You know what FOMO is? It stands for fear of missing out. <laughs> iPhone on it. <laughs> How many hundred dollars is that? Um, there's probably a lot. So what it is is it's um, rap artists will sit and hold stacks of hundreds up to their ears. Yeah. All right. So I'm not well versed in the world of rap, but after some research, aka googling, the money phone phenomenon was a response to Jay Z's 444. Then 50 Cent reminded us that him and Floyd Money Mayweather started the whole concept of money phone. I'm gonna do it. Just. Drew oh, he's setting up for another drawing. While scouting for a snack, we came across a baby coconut in its original shell. It's a common sighting on the streets of Southeast Asia, but rare in the US. For lunch, we have salad. Whoa, take a look at that ceiling. What a great place to stand under during an earthquake. It is four minutes shy of 10 a.m. and we're just about to check out. Ooh, we got the middle elevator. It's my first time, first and last for this trip. We are on our way to Aria for our final day at CES. It actually uh, goes up until this Friday to the 12th. And today's the 10th, but we're gonna leave tonight. Feeling hangry, I grab a vanilla almond drink and admire a bougie chair. Infinite variety with all the attention on the screen. At the beginning, I would just take any deal that was, you know, brought my way. I'd probably be like, you know, something as obscure as like this dog bone company wants to work with you. And I'd be like, how much money do they, do they want to pay me? Down. 
So, you know, which was obviously a mistake because there is no authenticity in that, and I think that's where people really have kind of this like fakeness radar. Uh, but how can you make that resonate within the culture? How can you make that resonate for the brand? His voice is so soothing. It's like velvet to the ears. Mmm, food. This is a situation where we have the number one show on television for the last six years, and not just cable, but all the television. So when I joined this party, that it naturally went with us. You're the same guy who were season one in every way, and he's a generous guy who has always said, all right, well, what's the right thing for the fans? Whether he's given the finger from the top of the building and he <laughs> love that side of the building. <laughs> <laughs> The crowd swarmed around Norman like a pack of hungry zombies. Norman, I know you just celebrated a birthday. Happy belated birthday. Yeah, happy Four birthday! Days ago. I managed to snag a selfie with him as he pretended to choke me. Mommy O and I are gonna grab a mini lunch at Aria Cafe before we head to the airport. This menu is so big, I can hide behind it. Spinach strawberry salad with goat cheese, Spanish almond and lemon dressing. Om yum 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 yum. There's a rainbow on my plate. Very subtle, but it's there. Yeah, I think I'm the same driver as the other day. From, uh, yeah. <laughs> this happens uh, the second time since I'm driving. What do you do more than the men do? Give birth. Yeah. Can the men do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how empty this airport is currently. No one's at the slot machines. Well, I think Mommy O might change that. Mommy O is particular with which machine she plays with. I like simple pictures on it and uh, just two to three coins at one time. Guess what Mommy O is watching? My live streams. <laughs> on our way to San Jose, we had a layover in Long Beach. Mommy O wants to live in Las Vegas. Yeah. What are you gonna do if you live here? The first flight was filled with turbulence and an orchestra of coughing, mostly bass with one tenor. <coughs> <coughs> Dear future passengers, Please cough and sneeze into your elbow rather than directly into the air. Most people are not so keen on breathing in your germs and catching your cold or flu. 15 minutes later, we boarded for round two. And thankfully, this time there was zero coughing. Hope you guys enjoyed experiencing CES with us. What do you think about driverless cars? Does the idea excite you or freak you out? Let me know in the comment section. Leave a banana emoji if you look forward to the autonomous future. If you don't look forward to that future, leave a cherry. Stay tuned for the next travel video where I give you a tour of a 5-star hotel in Las Vegas. Bye-bye!